What is that animal? I don't know. It's like quail. It's a pheasant. Oh, my hand is so shaky. They have otters here? They have otters. otters. Then, like, is minx? that a piranha? What is that? Is that a minx? Like, just cat? Like, just cat. cat. Traditional Japanese cat. Traditional Japanese cats out here. Yeah, Mataka Station here in outside of Tokyo. And we're going to a very, very specific place. I've been very excited about for a very, very long time. Ever since I was a kid. Let's see it there. Studio Ghibli Museum. So we're gonna take the bus next and then hop into the museum. Um, Parker, of course, is taking restroom break 5,000 right now. So apparently uh, the Studio Ghibli Museum is one of the most sought after places in Japan. It honestly looks and feels exactly like we're at Willy Wonka's studio. Parker's never seen any of the movies. So I've seen like- We started, we started five minutes of it. I've seen like 20 minutes of the movie. We started to watch it last night and I fell asleep like about five minutes in. So, yeah, but it, from what I what I saw, I liked it. Um. <laughs> Here at the Studio Ghibli Museum, after watching my very first Miyazaki film of Spirited Away, I'm finally here. Oh, sweet. So we just finished the Studio Ghibli Museum. Sadly, we can't use any camera technology. Yeah, the, kind of <laughs> the second that I went in there, the lady told me to turn it off, so that's probably right before this part of the video. But uh, it was incredibly beautiful and cute, adorable. It's totally, it's like, it's worth, it's completely worth the visit here to come yeah. to Japan just to go see that museum itself. Because even at the bottom we had, Towards the store, we have a bunch of zoetropes and stuff. There's really very interesting stop motion animation going on throughout there. They actually have like a whole window pane, sort of like this window box full of like the film itself. And it's actually going through and like showing like different cells and stuff at the same time. I think what else is really the, cool. the whole second floor was basically like an homage to like how to correctly animate. Oh yeah, the like, yeah the second floor was amazing. Well, yeah. because each section there's like a little sort of like a couple different panes and frames of different movies and so like Parker runs over like Spirit Away or Princess Mononoke whatever it is together. It'd have like how you'd focus on water. Yeah, and like one would be like without any color, and then like how they would do it with different lighting and water, how it interacts with water. Um, like reflections and then like translucent things like yeah. when uh what when well, like the, the sheer propel, curtain yeah the, or the, the propeller, propeller when it's spinning, spinning really yeah. fast that was really cool um i mean we got these like the gift shop the gift, gift, shop, gift shop was our the first part was all right but we got these like really special like first edition books they also like put these really cool covers on them but like you know just like completely the most beautiful books that you've ever seen. I don't know how this was fifteen dollars because it definitely cost more just to print this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I wish I, wish I spoke Japanese so I could actually read it. But yeah. it's a perfect coffee table book, perfect gift for anyone. Like, I don't know. I love it. Yeah, those are great. It's like I bought. He bought uh, my neighbor Totoro. I bought uh, Spirit, Spirit Away, Princess Mononoke, and uh, Porco Rosso. So Seth, if you ever watch this. One of those is yours, and I'm pretty sure you can guess which one that is. Um, but yeah, those are definitely worth it. The gift shop itself, extremely crowded, full of very, very high-priced items. Yeah, we were pretty expensive when the books were so cheap. Yeah, the <laughs> books are actually really... Yeah, the books are probably the best part, because if you go to the bookstore section, like, there's really no one in there, because I guess mm -hmm. no one wants to read, apparently, these days. They're almost really cute oh, sort of things to have. Little kids, probably. Yeah, little yeah. kids don't really care about that. So, like, the gift shop itself had a lot of really interesting stuff in it, like... I was looking at a model kit that I would have bought, but it's so big that it's like unnecessary to carry around Tokyo and stuff. Yeah, and you can't really walk in there without buying something for like 30 bucks. Yeah, 30 so. bucks is probably your minimum. You can buy like keychains and stuff like that, really small keychains, mm -hmm. about like 980 yen. They were, they were adorable though. Super like, cute. <laughs> we almost bought them anyway. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> if you want to buy this stuff, definitely buy it. But I think we've seen some of that stuff at Don Quixote already. Okay. So probably buy some of that stuff in Don Quixote. 
And we're going to Kyoto a couple days from now, which mm -hmm. Kyoto also has a uh, Studio Ghibli store in it too, so we'll probably buy some of that stuff there. Yeah, so. figured it wasn't. Th these are the only things that seem to be like specific to this location that yeah. we couldn't buy anywhere else. But overall, it's beautiful. Like it was really cool. Just the way it's built and the architecture is amazing. Yeah. Like uh, we took like an old school elevator throughout the whole thing. Yeah, the elevator is really cool. <laughs> Everything like, is really well thought out. Everything's yeah. themed out. Everything's really well thought out. Even like the bathrooms had like specific scenes yeah. in each stall. The bathrooms. <laughs> like, it, it was pretty cool. It was adorable. Everything Just was, the whole thing yeah. was adorable. Everything's extremely cute. <laughs> it's. I mean, it's worth. If you have a kid, or if you just like obviously just grew up with these films or anything like that, it is totally worth coming out here just to watch them. That's the thing. I've only, I've only seen like thirty, like no, twenty minutes of like one film, and yeah. I loved it. So. Oh, you, well, technically you watched the full one today because we watched the. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. So there is there is a little theater at the bottom floor. It's one of the first things we ran into after we got out of the the main area. Mm -hmm. um, you just show them your ticket, they stamp the back of it, and you get to watch a unique movie they only have at the museum here. It was maybe 20 to 30 minutes long. It might be shorter. Yeah, I think it was a little shorter, but it was adorable. Yeah, so super cute. cute. And then uh, apparently, like, what? They have, like, a running rotation of them. Yes, they have. So we saw there's, like, maybe six or seven maybe different movies they show. Yeah, and he, so I think these are, like, the only things that he's still working on these days. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, he just actually loves the museum and loves his craft and loves, like, his what i don't know his aura so like yeah. everyone was like oh yeah all right we'll just keep making these i think he's just bored but it's amazing because yeah. on the top floor there was actually really cool sections there was a um his little they like did like a little workshop for him that was like really cool mm. to have this yeah it was like a specific like oh my god it was like actually how he like made all of the films like it was yeah. the it was a complete replica of his of his studio it was pretty amazing with um, like a bunch of this stuff i actually would you like to show show what the gift you got yourself? I, I stole I stole one of his pencils. Uh, <laughs> they, they had like a shitload of them, and it's uh, I have a feeling I'm not the first person to steal one. Of these. I mean, it is all kid. To, to, be, to be honest, it's all kid level. That stuff is like right at the, right it, your kneecaps. Exactly. So like I'm sure a kid just walked by just grabbed one. And the other thing that's funny is that like we can't read anything, so like so, everyone's in there like op like literally taking books like off yeah. a shelf, and it's a museum. It's super so, like, interactive. It's, you can touch yeah. apparently you can touch anything you want to there. Yeah, like there like the film that was like running through like actual machines yeah. was like right here. Like it was like I could yeah. fuck this shit up. So there's, there's, a, there's a section where you actually <laughs> hand crank a film roll yourself. Yeah, to go frame by frame or as much as fast as you want to so whatever mm -hmm. but like literally you can put your hand in there just take that frame you out you just ruin everything if you were an idiot and like, then right I next to it they have a whole just a bag full of film roll for some yeah. reason just chilling there i'm not yeah. sure why but the oh. uh yeah his little his little, like, little library section itself is actually super cool just because you had different like hand illustrations of each and every single like maybe like storyboards for frames worth of like the actual tile sequence of the film and then so. they also gave you like i doubt you can see it but they gave you like these real. uh specific frames from the actual movie and it's, it's just it's super freaking amazing that's out. like your entrance yeah ticket. probably flip that around but like this itself i'm holding next to my face but this is a scene from uh ponyo where the mom is about to give him the ramen he and got, apparently these are like what these are actual frames so like some of them go for like a lot of money yeah online. <laughs> so you can actually yeah, you can actually sell these if you want to but it's pretty cool that they gave these out yeah. and then yeah this is a little stamp on the back of it when you watch your movie itself yeah, extremely I mean, cool extremely cool highly recommend and it's it, it's the coolest thing i've seen yeah. so far since we've been here because we we yeah. had booked the tickets in advance on voyaging.com Plug, plug. Because yeah, they were also obviously pretty awesome. All we had to do was go to their office in a in a WeWork. And WeWork, beautiful view. That WeWork, oh, an amazing was, view. I think it was what part of the Metropolitan Building that gives you like yeah. one of the best views of all of Tokyo. It was pretty great. Yeah, and so, it was yeah. it was completely raining super hard, and we still yeah. got to see like pretty much all of Tokyo just from there. Yeah. If that you was, had a chance, book those tickets in advance. They're not super expensive. Yeah, it's I think totally we, worth it. We had to book them like three months in advance, and yeah. you have to book it by a hour we were like yeah. had to show up by two yeah yeah so totally worth it looks it was amazing i loved it yeah oh. on, a, on a scale of one to ten i think i'd give it a 27 yeah it was probably a solid 27 <laughs> 27 <laughs> <laughs> all right books that you've ever seen i don't know how this was 15 dollars because it definitely cost more just to print this <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like